Yo, welcome back to a new guide, because today I'll be showing you how to set up a Discord webhook that's connected with Nature Macro, that shows you everything from your balloons refresh, planters replacement, and character resets, and it can also show you many more issues that's going on with your macro. So without more waiting, let's get straight into it. Now, for your first step is obviously having Discord. Now what you want to do is make a new server by clicking Add Server, create your own, click anything, and rename it anything you want, fully customizable. So I need my nature logs, I can just click create, give it a second, and there you go. Now you need to have a text channel, so for example I'm going to use a channel that's already made. Click edit channel, then go into integrations. Now this only works on PCs by the way. Now go to create webhook and give it a second, it's going to make its own captain hook. Now rename this to whatever you want, I'm just going to name this logs, and you can put any picture that you want. Now what you want to do here is very important. Now click copy URL and save don't forget to save okay now close this you can close discord and open nature macro now what you want to do is go into the status channel and change discord settings enable webhook url i already had my own webhook here so i'm just gonna replace this with the new webhook and enable screenshots now this is the first step done i'm gonna show you what to do with user ids so for your second step is simply having discord open again go to settings then scroll all the way down until you see advanced now click on advanced and you're gonna see developer mode now enable that and make sure you reset the screen doctor it's probably gonna do that automatically then what you have to do is just click show member list in your server and see your own self right click then copy user id now we can close discord and go back to macro change discord settings user id pings and paste that now you can also select emergency balloon and unexpected deaths so what i'm gonna do is explain everything that goes on over here and show you how this works now for the final part i'll be showing you what each webhook settings does now for screenshots over here we have critical events now this shows you if you went to point a and point b or if you converted your bag or not it's very simple stuff now for the amulets it's gonna show you things like king beetle or stump snail for example if they drop an amulet and you have it here as keep old it's gonna show you a screenshot of you collecting it as keep old and for collecting machines it's simply just everything over here like gingerbread bears Bisma stuff, memory matches, dispensers, and collect. And finally, for balloons, it's just simply over here. For vicious bees, you're gonna have um, kills. It's just gonna show you if you killed your vicious bee or not using a screenshot. And for your character deaths, it's just gonna show you a screenshot or when you died, how you died, and how many times you have died. And for the planter progress, it's over here in planters. If you have planters selected, it's gonna show you how long they have left. And for honey per second, it's just showing you how many honey you're making per second. It's very simple and it's very necessary. Now for user ID pings, it's all just errors. For example, critical errors, disconnects, game frozen, phantom planter. Phantom planter is just if you have a planter that's not showing up and it's trying to like collect it but it doesn't exist, it's gonna ping that. Unexpected death is if you died from a mob or an un unexpected event, and emergency balloons if you ran out of balloons and the macro didn't make more. And that's basically it. Now I'm just gonna show you how this works in a second and show you how this web will looks like when it's running. Now unfortunately my voice broke in this clip, so I'll be telling you over here now what happens is when you open nature it's gonna show you connected to discord startup ui now i'm gonna give you a quick test run and speed up things show you how it looks like when it's running and how it's supposed to show over in discord so here's the stuff that i have enabled and it's gonna be running in a second And boom, as you can see, everything works as planned, nature is working fine, and the webhooks are connecting and seeing everything. Now, thank you for watching, guys. There isn't really much here to say, but if you're having issues or bugs with nature or the webhooks, just join my Discord server down in the description, and I'll be helping you fix everything. And there's also a lot of people that can help you around. So, thank you for watching again, and see ya.